Hey, Collective! You made it to my channel. Welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I am Annetta, and this is Divine True Tarot. Today is the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July. Please be safe. Don't drink and drive. And I pray and I hope that you and your family have the best day of love, food, fireworks. Be safe. Enjoy the day, okay? All right, Collective, we're tapping into the energies of your person to see what they're feeling and what their energies are at the current morning, morning, <laughs> moment, good morning, <laughs> regarding you and their, and your guys' connection. Please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless, okay? All right, Collective, let's see what's going on with you and your person. Let's see what your person's energies are towards the collective regarding the connection holy spirit holy angels thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the toilet tarot for the highest good of the collective heavenly father i pray that you'll send clear and precise messages through my archangels my spirit guides my ancestors of love and light and heavenly father i pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to receive these messages in the mighty name of jesus i love you i praise you and i thank you amen amen shalom shalom all right let's get the main energies of your person towards you collective let's see what they feel and let's see <clears throat> what energies they're operating in i just want to take the time out and thank everybody who support the channel with your likes your comments your shares your donations i love you love you love you for that because baby we are growing we are over 2000 strong over here because people are healing people are getting confirmation information things of the sort so i really appreciate all the interaction and all the love that you have shown me okay well that's vibe thank you my loves Ooh, look at this popper let's get let's get let's get two more holy spirit let's see what's going on with the collective in that person let's see can we pop another one out they said yes okay all right well then you know we're gonna keep shuffling it to look it there we go okay this is way too many uh -uh. let's cut that down holy spirit but i did see the magician in the mirror so if somebody's trying to manifest something here trying to manifest you back okay we got that one trying to manifest the, there we go good go ahead with yourself holy spirit I'm trying to manifest a contract mm. some of you guys are in a divine contract with your person here yeah taking action yep they trying to manifest some type of contract here or some type of agreement with you after you walked away from them so this is a return this is giving me return energy mm -hmm. this person is not giving up on you collective strategy see what i mean first energies out they trying to manifest or devise a plan to come back around to you Ooh, we have your ariel here uriel excuse me and that's the seventh chakra crown chakra is here an angel of balance they want to balance this connection out with you okay collective yeah you are in the soul contract and you got you guys gonna have to figure out how to balance this out it's making me feel like you're not fixing to be released until you have some type of understanding or agreement with your person now it could be an agreement to be together and try to make it work or it could be an agreement to separate and move your own way here the choice is yours, collective. But your person is, their, their choice is made up. They want to try to come and balance out this connection. And you are being guided by the angel of balance. Thank you for the confirmation. Oh, yes. Any bells, car horns, dog barks, anything that go on in this reading, that's confirmation of what I'm saying. So, you know, yeah, your person, they want it. They want it. They want it. They want it. They want to work it out. They're being divinely guided with this seven chakra up here. Wide open. Dead smacking the reading. Mm -hmm. Getting downloads. Getting angel messages. Yeah. They're being guided to try to work it out with you, collective. Okay. Being guided by that angel of balance. Let's see. What can you tell me about this strategy then? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about the strategy? I appreciate it. Yeah, but your person, I heard they're longing for you. Wow. They don't want to play no more. I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. Mm, 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 mm. They don't want to do this no more. Come on, Holy Spirit. Let's kick it out. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
Here we have two coming out. Healing begins. I can't make it up. They're trying to figure out and strategize a plan to make things work out with you. To bring things back into balance. To heal the connection. The broken connection here. Dedicated effort. Very focused here. They're focused on getting this together with you, Collective. Dang. Yeah. Because they're being divinely guided. Taking action. Yeah. Because you walked away. You walked away from the connection. You walked away from the... Your person and they like, uh-uh. You need to walk your ass back over here. <laughs> yeah, they, they wanted to work. Oh. But we're going to see why. Oh, ego death is here. This is the death energy at the bottom of the deck. Release. For some of you guys, your person is releasing the old shell of self. Ego death transformation is here. Scorpio energy is here. Yeah. They they they're gonna put in the work. They just trying to figure out how they can get back in your good graces. Wow. What can you tell me about this crown chakra? For some of them, they are going through some type of awakening here. This is what I'm getting. Waking up to the realization of the connection with you, collective. Finally starting to see the truth of who you are to them. And what this connection is about. Okay, we're going to take those two over here that slid over there. Let's see. Stand your ground. Yeah, they're standing up for this connection with you. Coming together. This person is determined. Determined to put in the work. Determined to do what it takes in order to get you back. This is you or your person. I mean, you know, take the message as it resonates. You can flip-flop the roles if they fit your story. But... There's a lot of divine guidance here because somebody is waking up to the realization of self. And I, I've been getting that energy a lot lately here when it comes to the collective in their person because the collective walked away. You walked away from your... Oh, collective. I did not mean to drop you on your head. Look it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I did not... I didn't mean to drop you on your head. Oh, goodness. Oh, you Okay. Are you okay? Y'all y'all good? Y'all y'all Gucci? I know that shit hurt. I know that shit hurt. <laughs> oh my goodness. But uh some of uh, some of you, your person gonna drop in on you. I mean, I'm just saying they just devising the plan how to come back around. Wow. Okay. Third eye chakra. Somebody got an epiphany here. This is divinely guided. It's a lot of um, spiritual awareness here. Yes, especially with the crown chakra and angel of balance. You're damn right. With the third eye chakra showing up, mm -hmm, partnerships and alliances, they want it bad. Look, your person cannot deny the fact that they need to come back around to you to try to make it work or to try to have, bring you some type of closure, even closure for their self. They don't know what They don't know what's going on. When it comes to you and in, in, in your relationship with your person, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to strategize a, 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 a brand new beginning here. But you're standing your ground against your person. They want to put it in the work and you're like, mm-mm, bag up. Yeah. Coming together and healing begins. You have an opportunity to heal this connection. But, of course, we have free will. So, some of you are and some of you not. But we'll see. We're going to get into it. We can't tell you about this angel of balance. Ooh, this one wanted to come all out. What is this? Darkest fears is here. You walking away. The life that your person is living after you walk, walked away from them, they're living in their darkest fears. This is also to fear that they cannot come back together with you because you have disconnected from the connection i'm hearing somebody is praying and pleading for a chance to get, to come back into connection with you they're praying to the most high what else can you tell i'll take this one Woo. divine feminine there you go there you go divine feminine empress energy is here i'm gonna put these back because these are just way too many so yeah destiny Coming back around, things are changing. Coming in for another cycle. Um, 
you guys were i heard you <laughs> shit i heard you guys were destined to be together but for some reason you, you you had to disconnect from the connection or your person disconnected from the connection look we have destiny and trust taking that leap of faith for some of you guys you are being divinely guided to heal things with your person now just because you heal things with your person do not necessarily mean that you have to come back into a connection no but healing the energy of the devastation of the connection it could be a fight argument separation something of the sort you guys have to come together and, and work this out to balance out each other not only each other but yourself from each other healing healing from what had happened for some of you your person whatever they did it was like your darkest dreams came true not dreams but your darkest fears i don't know why they say dreams but okay your darkest fears came true, but you got over it. You came out of it, baby. You came out a brand new person. You faced your fears, and here you are, Divine Feminine. This is why that angel of balance is here. For some of you guys, you was fearing the worst when you had to separate from your person. Feeling as though you would never find another one like them. Feeling as though nobody could ever love you like they did or give you the ooey gooeys like they did or something of the sort. Until you had, you had enough. And you said, uh-uh, I got I to gotta go and heal myself. I got to heal from whatever devastation that this connection has caused. And because you've done that, now your person want to take a deeper faith. They're being divinely guided. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Destiny is here. So things are moving forward. This cycle is, is, is rolling on. Either separate or together. It's making me feel like collective that your person want to bring it back together, but you don't. And that's what I said in the beginning because you walked away. I heard think about it. Okay. Think about it. Some of you guys need to think about it. Meditate and pray on what it is that you want from this connection and from your person. Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Holy Spirit. What advice, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get some advice on what you should do because you're, you're not, for the majority of you guys, you, 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 with this standing your ground and coming together, you're very resistant, very resistant and having another go around with your person because you feel as though you're going to repeat a cycle and you done already grew and healed from this. So getting back into another connection or another go around with your person, it's like, oh, uh, I done already healed from the damage that, that, that was done when we separated, but we'll see. Ooh, go ahead with yourself, Holy Spirit. We have ha opportunity and big happy changes. Opportunity and big happy changes is here. I love that energy. For some of you guys, abundance. For some of you guys, look, there's a, there's a second chance. To make a first impression here. But you're very resistant. Very resistant. Universe and spirit is saying. Check it out. For some of you. I will say. That you have to take a second look. And, and really see if this is. What you really want. Or don't want. And, and the opportunity is coming. And whatever you decide. It will bring big happy changes. So some of you guys are already happy with the changes. In the connection. Because you healed and you moved on. For others you will be happy at the fact that your person has changed. And they want to heal and move forward with you. Okay. So it's, it's up to you. Damn. They throwing cars all over. Jesus Christ. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them. Here we have romance. Big happy changes, opportunity, romance. For some of you, you have another uh, connection coming in. Or you went towards another connection after you walked away from your person. Now your person is butthurt. They are, they're, they're longing for you now because you're not available to, to them anymore. <laughs> Choose a new direction. Okay? This is what you did. And it's unlikely that you will be able to recover the past connection with your person because you done already started something new. This is for some of you guys. We have compromise at the bottom of the deck. Then we have, if you believe, it's up to you, helpful people. For some of you, um, family and friends could be encouraging you to either stay or walk away. 
giving you sound, solid advice as to why you should do or make the decision that you need to make regarding your person. You're not feeling that optimistic about a collective. Mm -mm. Look, I split the deck and we have forgiveness. Yeah, this is feeling like it's, it's encouraging to, you know, have this, take this opportunity to come to some type of clarity or some type of closure here. But your person do not want to let it go. And they're going to put forth the effort in order to convince you to give them a second shot. They feel as though they've been divinely guided to do so because they see you as this empress energy balanced here. So if, when you're operating in empress energy, male or female, it attracts. Especially with this, this uh, empress. And I did we did see the abundance card. Um, I didn't put it out, but yeah, we've seen it. So, you know, very abundant, very stable, very creative, very, ner uh, how should I say, fruitful here. And your person wants, wants it back. You moved on. Yeah, look, a lot of you guys, you just moved into a new direction here, a new life. And, once, and when you did that, you... Elevated into an empress energy. You had to leave this person behind in order for you to save self and find self. And you move forward. With this destiny card and this angel of balance, yes. You were divinely guided. Some of you, some of, some of the collective was divinely guided to move away from your person and start something new. And after you did that, Booyah, you found a lot of healing. You, you, you found a lot of forgiveness of self. Because the forgiveness and the emperor, em, empress energy out here, you even forgiving your person. This is why I said you heal and you move forward. But your person still want to keep a connection because now they see how much of an empress you really are. How much of a divine feminine that you are. They didn't see this when you two was together. This is why you had to choose self. Look, pathway. When I split the deck. Yeah. And it's drawing this person back into your energy here wanting to heal it and work it out and you know just save the connection some of you guys could have been married to your person in the 5d or the 3d your person know that this marriage was a gift they know this now they know this connection was a gift if you wasn't married to your person you was in in a serious commitment and they took it for granted and now they see that you were the gift you were the way to go. Now they're sitting over here concerned. What can you tell me? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me? Yeah. We have a false person. Your person, they didn't show up. They didn't show up in the, in the way that they were supposed to in this connection. Lying, cheating, conniving, sneaking. Okay? Because they thought that they could have a come up. They, they see that you were a come up. And so your person, they didn't show up the way that they should because it, it, they, it feels spoiled here. With false person and sudden wealth, for some of you guys, your, you, your person used you. They used you for your resources. They used you for your love. They used you for your time, your energy, and your effort. Because it was something that was, um, they, they felt that that was valuable or that was a value to them. But them being a false person, that because they lied, they didn't show up in the honesty and the truth of self, especially in the connection. They lied to you a lot. I heard they were living in avatars and shit. They were not the person that you thought that you fell in love with or the person that you thought you were making it happen with. Now they're in a bad head space. Some of them could be experiencing bad health, sicknesses, illness, illnesses, diseases, but they sick about you being a privileged lady, Empress. Okay, now they hold you in high honor. Now they want to reach out and talk to you. For some of you, your person is moving forward towards you. They're coming in. This is that energy. They don't. They they want to get back what they have, but you you closed it out. Some of you guys are really thinking about if you should make it work with this person, or you are really contemplating if you should, you know, hear their mouth, see if it can work again because they coming in strong. 
and they come in and change. Ooh, cough in here. Courthouse. Even though they come in, I don't think that you guys will have a, a um, I heard a fighting, fighting chance. Not with this cough in here. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Somebody could be a spiritual cord or actually physical cord, but I'm getting more spiritual here. This is why unexpected income and child. For some of you, your for some of you, your person had an outside child. I gotta say that. For others, you could be pregnant unexpectedly. Or your person could have got somebody or got pregnant by somebody unexpectedly. Now they're stuck. Uh-huh. They stuck in that situation. Look. Yeah, imprisonment, expectation. Yeah, somebody is pregnant here and about to give birth. Now, if it's not an actual baby, then this is somebody um, being stuck in that is some of their decisions. For others, this is you expecting some type of interaction, some type of, I heard money. I don't know where I'm getting that from, but you're expecting this person to come back around to you to try to make it work, to try to get back in your good graces here. Yeah. You expecting this to happen. It's like you already know how your, what your person is up to or what they're trying to do when it comes to you and the connection. It's like you already know what they're going to do before they do it. They showing up as a false person in a bad headspace. This is why they're trying to get back in your good graces because they are not doing well mentally after the, you walked away or after the connection has severed here. This is severed. They 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 can't get over the fact that it is is ended, is is done. They can't do nothing about it. So now they're over here sitting in depression while you're over here being a privileged lady. This is how they view you. They hold you in high honor. Now. What is the intentions of the collective's person towards the collective? What is the intentions of the collective's person towards the collective? Herefin, they want this commitment here. Taurus energy is here. They want this. Look, they figured it out. They felt as though they figured it out. They got it. The strategy. Look, they did. They, they look. They was figuralizing and contemplating and realizing a whole bunch about this commitment, this marriage here. They want this, and then it's it's aching. Yeah, three of cups at the bottom of the deck. They want this reunion. Now, for some of you guys, you separated because of a third party, especially if you was married to your person. This is why they want your forgiveness. But they feel as though it's highly unlikely that you will forgive them. Because you done already made your mind up. You already moved away. You already healed. And you started on a brand new journey here. The cycle is over. It's a wrap. Now they want to come back in and, and give you this commitment here. It's making me feel like it didn't work out with a third party. No, that's way too many Holy Spirit. Let's put that back. Yeah, it, yeah, they was given to another person or another connection and it didn't work out. So now they want to come back around to you because you were the more solid offer, the most, the more stable uh, choice. They went over there and, and just, it didn't work. Ooh, we are not doing all that, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit got a lot to say about this. Tiny cool. What else can you tell me then? Let's, 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 let's get one or two. I know you got a lot to say. This energy is just all over the place. Thank you. Seven of Wands, they want you to put your guards down. Okay? They want you to put your guard down. They don't want you to be so defensive against this connection here. Because they want it. Now the Pentacles, they move it in slow. They come in with a solid offer, but it's like, shit, they need you to have your guards down first. Yeah. What's this? Six of Cups. This could be um, somebody that you have children with, but they're being very nostalgic and reminiscent. Some of them is coming off as spoiled here. Son, they remember like, they remember the happy times that you two had. <clears throat> Look at this soulmate energy here. Some of you guys were married in the past life. For others, yeah, you could have been married very young you know like 
you guys could have gotten married or gotten into this solid, stable, committed relationship when you were very young, like 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. And you've been together for, you know, a couple of decades now. And then when the connection separated your person, they didn't know how to move on. They didn't know how to handle not being without you. Not you be, with, they didn't know how to handle you not being there. Physically or energetically. But you are their happiness. They want this back. They, they have happy memories here of you two together. They cannot stop thinking about the joy that they have with you. But somebody here included a third party. It could be a person, place, or thing that they thought that they could have this, this happiness with, but it didn't work out. For some of you, your person, the only time that they really truly feel that they're happy is if they're drinking, partying, celebrating with friends, people that they grew up with. This message is your person is just all over the place. Uh, hey, I'm not I'm not really getting the message. I'm not really connecting to the messages, but they here, so I gotta say what I see. But they want you to put they, your guard down in order for you guys to have this blissful reunion here, because they just cannot stop thinking about you. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? They don't want it. They don't want this to go. Aww. What's this? Yeah, hey man. So, you know, they they're gaining a new perspective of how things should be when it comes to you. Yeah. The the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Very loving. They want to give you this love here. But I'm gonna tell you like this, your person have a lot of options here. It's a lot of people that's biting for your person's attention and love. They just want to give it to you. These options, these choices, they're not. They don't add up to what you bring. They, they're not. They're not adequate enough. So your person here in the hangman energy. Why is this hangman energy here? Let's see. What can you tell me about the hangman? What they what they looking? They looking at this whole thing. They feel stuck and tied and bound here. They can't help it. They can't help us see the truth. And they're not making a move until they absolutely sure as to what it is that they need to do in order to bring this connection back together. So some of you, your person's not talking to you. They're not reaching out to you. And it's because they're in, behind the scenes contemplating on what to do, what to say, and how to bring some type of communication, some type of... Um, I want to say uh, reason why you guys should even be talking. You know, like they're thinking of ways like, oh, uh, I need to talk to you because such and such. Or I, I'm, I'm calling you because it's such and such. But they need a good reason. And they're trying to come up with a, a snazzy idea. But watch out for this one because this is a false person. A false person is a liar. So it's making me feel like your person is trying to sit up here and think of Think of a lie on how to even contact you or even how to talk to you. What they're going to say to you. Let's see. Let's get it. Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about the hangman? This is a big deck, y'all. So, you know I like my big decks. Ah, Empress here. Woo. Here you go. Again, collective. You got the Empress out here twice. Heavy on the Taurus. Yeah, they don't know what to say to an empress. Shit, you can't lie to an empress. An empress I already know what the fuck is, is, is going on. That's what I was saying. You already know where they're coming from. And here we go with the hierophant again. And then we have the devil right up under it. With the knight of wands here. They're, they're, they're obsessed. They are obsessed with you collective. This is why they cannot stop thinking about you. This is why they're they're so pressed and so determined to come back around and get back into your good graces. Some of them is going through spiritual warfare or they have went through a spiritual warfare and therefore, um, oh, excuse me, wrong two cards. Yeah, they went through a spiritual warfare and now they're, they're trying to take some type of action. Yep, with the chariot right here. I can't make it up. They're trying to take some type of action towards you. 
Because when they went through this spiritual warfare, they went through an awakening, an ego death. And because they did that, booyah, all type of revelations has been coming in with them, on them, with this third eye chakra right here. Now they sitting here contemplating about the truth that they have uh, came into about you and this connection. It's making me feel like your person didn't honor you or the connection when they had you. It wasn't only until they lost you, you turned your back and you walked away and you started a brand new cycle either with somebody else or 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 you have became a new person within self and you can't help but radiate and they can't help but see it. And now it's too late. What can you tell me about this Empress? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about the Empress? But honey, boom, your person is just like... Oh my God, I had the bag, I had, <laughs> I don't mean to say bad, but it feels like a jackpot. I had the jackpot and I didn't even see it when I had it. Very defensive. This is the reason why you, your person wants you to put your guards down. We have the seven of wands in the reverse with the seven of wands in the upright. I was asking about the emperors. You are very guarded defensive. Okay, it's making me feel like for some of you, you could be feeling like you was under attack. So you had to stand up for yourself with this stand your ground. Yeah, there was a lot of people talking about you. There was a lot of people pointing a finger at you when it came to you and your person in this connection. The reason why you broke up, the reason why they moved on and made the choices that they made, something of the sort. There's still sadness here. This is why you stand on your ground, because you remember the hurt and pain that your person has caused you. And you still holding on to it. You still holding on to it. You still remember. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. You still remember. You remember what it was. You remember how you felt when your person did what they did. You know, you remember the hurt. You remember the pain. And you're, you're still, some of you guys are still holding on to it as a reminder of what not to do no more. You will never be hurt like this again. What else can you tell me? What's this? Queen of Pentacles. Then it's the... You grounded yourself, though. Some of you guys, you started businesses, started a new job. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, new offers coming in. Very solid and stable. Your finances is looking good. Some of you guys threw yourself into work or threw yourself into creating uh, another form of income or another way of, of stability, I want to say. Look, and here come the King of Cups. Come right, right in with the Five of Swords. Somebody is stressed. It's making me feel like your person want to come in love bombing you. With this false person, I do not trust it. I don't trust it because with the false person and the Three of Cups, this is why it's like, yeah. They want to come back around to you now because this Three of Cups didn't work out. Whoever they was messing with or chose to give a chance to or try to see if they could find happiness with them, it didn't work out. And so now they over here sniffing around you because now they see who the true empress is. You coming out here twice. What else can you tell me about the collector's person towards the collective? What else can you tell me about the collector's person towards the collective, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Two of Wands taking action. For some of you, it's making me feel as though your person waited too long. Waited too long to take some type of action towards you and them ships have sailed. They weren't even paying attention because they was over here just trying to figure out what to do. And they waited too long. What to say, how to say it. And that ship, that ship done sailed. Yeah. Yeah, they was trying to figure out how they could come in with an, uh, an apology, paint a new picture. This is feeling like trying to figure out how to come up with another lie that you could believe. And I said another, because with this false person, this person is a liar, a thief, a cheat, a sneak. What else can you tell me? I'll take it. I'll take the one that fell in my lap. Oh, Ace of Cups. They're in love. They want this love. They want this love again. Now they now they understand. For some of you, now your person understand what true love is. And they see that it's you. Yeah, and it's a heavy burden on them. They had to, the this knowledge of what true love is, it's a heavy weight and a heavy burden. And it's a lot for your person to, to take. 
it's a lot for your person to to understand and realize some of them it took them a long time to realize this up to 10 years or 10 months depending on your situation but all this enlightenment about what true love is it's a weight and it's a burden on your person it's the reason why they want to come back into your connection or come back into your energy so bad thank you for the confirmation holy spirit because it's a lot for them to handle they can't handle it they can't handle the fact that they fumbled the empress it's like shit what was i thinking especially with if your person was dealing with a third party some of you guys your person could have married the third party and was committed to the third party now they want to come in with this apology page of cups they want to come in want to send some type of love message or have some type of um communication when it comes to their the matters of the heart yeah nine of cups wish fulfillment here they they want to settle this but the page of cups and the nine of cups is the ten of cups they see, they see forever with you. They see that you are their happiness, but they didn't see it when they had you. But I'm going to tell you this, that was the catalyst for you to grow up and become, to, uh, to become, to come into, excuse me, to come into this Empress energy. And once you started operating in your Empress energy, you wasn't mean to your person, no. You didn't get revenge from your person, no. You didn't cuss them out. You didn't try to make things harder for them. You was hurt. You was disappointed. But you was adult enough to be like, okay, that's what you want to do. Booyah, go do it. And you didn't give them no type of reaction. You let that ass go, walking away. And y'all, you left your person stuck like, damn. I, she, he or she not going to fight for this? They just let me go? They just dumped me, dropped me? You know, they were flabbergasted. On how you just was able to be like, okay, and walk away. And when you did that, thank you for the confirmation. And when you did that, you went straight into your healing. Straight into your healing. You didn't waste no time. You was already an empress. Operating an empress energy. And this this, this one right here, false person, this foolish person did some old bullshit that lost their empress. And since you had separated from the connection, your empress energy... It, it ten times fold. It's like a new level of divine, divine feminine energy that you're operating in. You was already operating in it because we had the divine feminine out here twice. So you was already operating the divine energy, divine feminine energy. But when you had to go through this with your person, it's, it kicked it to the stratosphere. It's like a super duper divine feminine energy, super woman and shit. And this is why your person can't help but be be drawn back to you. With this with this crown chakra right here, it's like, damn. Now they get it. Now they see it. It's because you, they, they're watching you. They're watching you elevate. They're watching you manifest. They're watching you become somebody that is very intriguing. Somebody who's... Uh, I'm kind of mysterious. I'm getting a little mysterious energy. I'm getting a high priestess energy because with a double empress, it is high priestess energy you're operating in too. Okay. Let's see what else. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Let's get a couple of more and then I'm going to uh, close it out. I'm going to leave you an advice. Justice. Justice has been played out. Justice has been served. For some of you guys, you blocking your person. That's your justice. That's your karmic justice is to leave this person blocked out. There's nobody sitting in this chair. This is all done by, behind the scenes by the divine. Justice has been served. To the point where you're not even there. The, the scales are balanced. You off on your new journey. It's, this is it, this is a wrap, and I'm that's my last card. What's at what's at the bottom? Yep, Eight of Pentacles and the Magician manifest. Look and judge me right here. Okay. Very focused on your brand new beginning. The brand new beginning that you're manifesting, because justice was served and it was served in your favor. Go ahead with yourself, collective. Let's get a let's get a, a advice, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for the collective? 
What advice do you have for the collector? Please and thank you. Uh huh. We have a fiery climax approaches. So something's coming to a head. Mm hmm. Something exciting is coming. That's what I'm feeling. Oh, shit. A new romantic cycle is happening. That is okay. That's all like something exciting. Yes. And communication is key. So some of you guys could have already started this new romantic cycle. That's what I was saying earlier in the reading. That, you know, you closed it out with your person and shit. Booyah. You, some of you guys have new love. New love. That's true. Somebody from your past. Okay. Some of you guys could have hooked up with somebody from your past. Somebody that you have happy, fond memories with. And that was your justice. And it's a heavy weight and it's a heavy burden on your person. But your person keeps showing up as pages and shit. Needed to say something. Needed to express their feelings and their truth. And they don't know how because they're emotionally immature. And you can't be emotionally immature fucking with an empress. Especially that's an empress that's double status. Double status and empress here. This is why you have a new romantic cycle beginning. That is just going to bring you the ultimate happiness that you deserve. Because you're grounded, you're rooted, you're stable. In your, in your love, in your energies, in your mind, in your heart. You had to heal. But some of you, you're still going through the healing process, but each day gets better and better. What other advice do you have, Holy Spirit? What other advice do you have for my collective? Please and thank you. Can we put it on the table? I'm not going to pull on no advice. That's it? Okay. Thank you. Emotions are running high. Oh. So, for some of you, if you met dating somebody new, um, it could be very exciting. It could be very, you know, like, oh my God, blissful or whatnot. But you need to balance out spirituality and practicality here. Okay, so don't get too far gone in your head or in your emotions. I don't think so because you're the empress, but it's, it could be overwhelming. Somebody that actually gets you, actually appreciates you, actually wants to be with you. as not coming with these mind games. It's not coming with no agenda. They just like you and your energy. It could be a little bit overwhelming. So you could get a little bit um, off balance when it comes to how you should interact with your with this person or with this new energy but you just need to balance out and you are balanced but keep that balance that you have between your emotions your mental and your spiritual okay all right collective this is what i have for you if any of these messages resonated please drop a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye